They are not the most beautiful beaches on the planet, they are not even beautiful snowy mountains. And yet they attract tourists. They are still flowing here, trying to uncover a secret that no one has been able to decipher so far. How did the gate to hell on Central Asia come into being and what does a UFO have in common with Australian Area 51? And what other mysterious places fascinate us so much? In short, you can't relax in these places and listen to the sound of the waves or perform physical performances that you will show off among the athletes like you. You must urgently discover and conquer these places. Let's get to it. One, Easter Island. It's not just heads. Do you belong to the majority of the population who were absolutely captivated by the statues on Easter Island with their heads and chests rising to the sky? In that case, you may have been amazed when it was discovered that their bodies were underground. Easter Island, in the native language of Rapa Nui, it lies about 3,600 kilometers west of the coast of South America. About 6,000 people live here on 163 square kilometers, and with them several hundred strange Moai statues. Apparently the first inhabitants were here in the 6th century, in the 19th century only a fraction of them remained due to tuberculosis, smallpox, wars and slave activities. However, after the original 10,000, there is still something left that the rest of the world is aware of. Gigantic statues, of which no one knows why they were created and what they are supposed to symbolize, have fascinated humanity since it was learned. We know that they are located in many places on the island, stand on stone platforms called U, and some are far from their original condition. Climatic phenomena have contributed to damage, others have been intentionally destroyed by people during the wars. There are a total of 887 statues on the island, and the largest of them reach a height of 12 meters and weigh up to 90 tons. Tourists have free access to all of them, except those who stand on the sacred burial platform. The most famous is the 200 meter long Atongariki. While above the ground tourists admire the heads and chests, below the ground there are also remains of bodies. Scientists believe that the statues in the past served as sacred places and were created as so-called sculptural temples. There are inscriptions in the Rongo Rongo language on the found plates, which may explain the whole essence of the sculptures, but scientists have not yet deciphered the language, so the solution to the mystery is not yet underway. 2. Death Valley the warmest and driest place in North America where rocks travel alone. Death Valley is one of the most visited cities in the USA. And one of its most important attractions is the Badwater Basin. It lies at 86 meters below sea level, making it the lowest place in North America and the second lowest place in the Western Hemisphere, after Laguna del Carbon, Argentina. Death Valley is the warmest and driest place in the world. Temperatures here during the summer usually reach around 50 degrees, the highest measured temperature is from 1913, when it was really hot here, exactly 56.7 degrees. Such heat occurs not only because Death Valley lies on the edge of the Mojave Desert, but also because the surrounding high mountains below do not let in cold air. In the summer heat, Therefore, it often happens that when it starts to rain, drops of water dry up before they can fall to the ground. What adds seriousness and mystery to Death Valley, however, is mainly the dry lake race track Playa, which has about 200 rocks on its surface. And no one knows how and why this happens. After all, some weigh up to 300 kilograms. No matter how hard the scientists tried, they couldn't do any of the hypotheses. One of them, for example, counted on rainwater and a very strong wind, as a result of which they had to create a slippery surface on the ground, on which the stones moved and still move without explanation. And finally, how would you explain that in the driest place in North America, millions of wild yellow flowers grow from time to time. Their seeds are hidden under a special layer, 
thanks to which they do not germinate until it is sufficiently moist. Then there will be a wonderful demonstration of how fantastic nature is and it can take good care of itself. 3. The Gate to Hell on Turkmenistan, which has been burning for over 40 years. In Turkmenistan, one of the few countries in Central Asia so far, near the village of Darvanza, about 260 kilometers north of Ashgabat, you will be amazed by a gigantic hole in the country from which flames are still beating since 1971. Comrades have made a mistake here. It was in 1971 that they explored gas deposits here with the help of a drilling rig that collapsed into one of their cavities. Subsequently, the subsoil collapsed and damage to the insulation layers resulted in a massive gas leak from the underground. Geologists at the time thought that if they set the site on fire, there would be no memory left after an accident for a few days. But what the hell didn't want, the place is still burning today. The gate to hell is about 20 meters deep and has a diameter of 70 meters. Due to its appearance, it has become one of the most visited cities not only in Turkmenistan, but also in the whole region of Central Asia. 4. The UFO base is also said to be in Australia's Area 51. It may sound pretty dark and unbelievable, but believe me, there are those among us who just can't sleep because of it. The secret military base and Pine Gap satellite station in Australia, located about 20 kilometers southwest of Alice Springs, is said to be an alien base on Earth, and UFOs can often be seen above it. According to existing theories, aliens work with humans to create huge underground passages and other bases. And why so many wonderful theories? None of the professionals want to say why the base was established and what is going on in it. So, what is your opinion? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.